We have an interesting problem statement here. Let me read it for you. Write a C program to print array elements in reverse order using pointers. So let me explain with an example here. So these are indexes, these are addresses, and these are the elements of the array. So what would you write to fetch the first element of the array, which is five? Of course, you will write a of zero. Zero is the first index of any array, okay? So it would fetch five to you. You already know that. So what would you write to fetch the base address that is the first address it's called base address by the way you would just append ampersand symbol to a of zero so ampersand symbol is also called address of operator so that would fetch the address associated with a of zero which is one zero zero one now also note that the array variable name a holds the base address to which is 1001 in, in this case. And that's all you need actually to get all the other addresses and all the other elements are associated with those addresses, okay? We will come to that in later part of this video. So what would you get by writing a plus one? That is base address plus one. So ampersand of a of zero also has base address. So what would you get in this case? So Many of you might have assumed that base address is 1001 plus 1 would result 1002, right? Simple arithmetic operation, but this is not correct in this case. So let me show what happens. So A is base address, which is 1001 plus 1, right? We need to do plus 1. So ampersand A of 0 is also base address. 1001 plus 1 so this would result in the next address which is 1005 that's because a pointer when incremented always points to an immediately next location of its own type okay its own type in this case this array is of type integer so it increments by 4 bytes so what would you get if we do a plus 2 or ampersand uh, a of 0, the base address plus 2. Guess. It's easy. You would get 1009. So please keep this concept in your mind. That is, a pointer when incremented always points to an immediately next location of its own type. If the type is character, if you do plus 1, it would only increment by 1 byte. Okay. In this case, it's integer. So it's incrementing by four bytes. So let me take a of five and let me write the same elements, i for for loop and a pointer variable star ptr. So let me write ptr is equal to, let me point it to the last index, four. So four is the biggest index here. So I'll point it to the last address here. So PTR holds the address 1017. So what would you do if you want the element present at this address? Just append star to it, that is star PTR would fetch 3, whatever uh, element present at that address 1017. So let me loop through this array and inside this let me print the array elements first let me print the address and show how it works so printf percentage d slash t tab character three space character so ptr what does ptr hold address of the last index okay i'll do ptr minus minus so let me decrement the address here so this at the first time it holds 1017 right so whenever you decrement let me do percentage slash n new line character. So whenever you decrement PTR by one, it points to previous index and so on. It keeps on iterating and it keeps on printing the previous addresses. 1005 and the last address 1001. So what would you get if you append star to it? Of course, the elements associated with these address. Let me execute. If we execute this code once again, we will start getting the values present at these addresses. Now four, 
next six so two the value associated with one zero zero one is five instead i'll remove it and have minus minus here itself and since we have only single line of code we need not even have these curly braces here so that's how you print the array elements in reverse order using pointers so let me show that to you by writing the actual code here so i'll take a of n i for for loop and star ptr which is pointer variable and as i told you previously let me point this to the last index which is present at n minus 1 so here n is 5 right so 5 minus 1 is 4 which is the biggest index of this array of 5 so let me write the for loop so i less than n i plus plus remember i less than n is nothing but i less than or equal to n minus 1 okay that same as writing i less than or equal to n minus 1 now at first let me output the elements of the array in the same order input by the user but we have not accepted any elements from the user so let me write that code first so i'll ask the user to input five integer numbers because n is five instead i'll i can even write enter percentage d integer numbers the value of percentage d is present inside macro n this is better way of writing it so i'll write the for loop and accept n minus 1 elements using scanf so i'm percent of a of i so this accepts five integer numbers so now we are pointing to the last element so let's do this let's first see if it outputs the array elements in the same order input by the user we are not yet using any pointers here so let me show that to you i'll input one two three four five and it's displaying in the same order now let me make use of pointer variable to, to do the same thing so ptr is pointer variable let me point it to the first element address of first element which is present at ampersand a of zero now using ptr which is pointer variable i'll display the array elements first let me display the address of these array elements which is present inside ptr so we will be displaying all the addresses of all the elements of the array so these are the addresses and look at the last two digits 08 12 16 20 and 24 these have four bytes uh, spacing in between them so to get the elements present at these locations append it with star so if you append star to any address it will output the value present at that address so let me do star ptr plus plus now now again this will print the array elements in the same order input by the user and it's working so now let us print this in reverse order so let us point to the last index of the array which is present in n minus 1 okay now let us do star ptr minus minus also remember bounds checking should be done by the programmer itself in c and program or the compiler doesn't take care of it for you okay so let me run this program so i'll give one two three four five this should print in reverse order and it's working five and then four three two and one so it's printing in reverse order hope you get it you can even decrement the value of star ptr in the in the printf itself okay so let me remove this line of code and have minus minus here itself so we can safely remove this code since we have only single line of code inside for loop we could even remove these curly braces and it's it still works the same way so you can check that so i can give 10 9 8 6 7 6 and it, it prints in reverse order 6 7 8 9 and 10 right so what else so let me show you that a holds the base address 
okay so let us let me first make it point it to the base address by writing ampersand here of 0 we need to make it plus plus here so the output will be same in the same order as user inputs it so 10 11 12 13 14 so 10 11 12 13 and 14 it prints in the same order so now let me remove this ampersand and this subscript so if it prints the same thing if we have same result that means a holds the base address it's clear right i'll give one two three four five and it prints one two three four five proving that the array variable name always holds base address that is the first address inside any array that's called base address too okay please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends on whatsapp telegram wechat also on linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you